Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Dick in the Dirt. I'm Dick. A couple weeks ago, I had a little uh, poll on my community tab that asked uh, where you wanted to see me camp next, a golf course or an abandoned property. You know, you can see the abandoned property one. I'm on kind of a busy road, There's not a lot of traffic at the moment, but I'm right next to the road, so hopefully nobody comes back here. I got my pack in here already. If you can see that down there, got my pack and cooler and garbage bag for cleanup. I will not be camping inside this house. It's literally falling apart. There's another house here on the property as well. I think that uh, it's pretty much burnt down. We'll go check that out. We'll check both these houses out in a little bit. I got to go set up. Uh, find a spot to set up because it already rained earlier. It's supposed to rain again. So I want to at least get my tarp up and put my stuff under it. All right, so I found a spot here pretty quick. It's literally right next to the house. I'm going to be pretty exposed here, but get the two best trees. Hopefully nobody sees me. Also, I forgot to say, let's get dirty. <laughs> I'm going to set up camp. Now I'm going to put my tarp up here real quick anyways. And then uh, I'll probably go look around at the house before it gets dark and before it rains.
whole mod goes on the inside instead of the outside. Helps hold the tarp open. And then I just got a piece of bungee, two carabiners attached to these bungees. Hold the doors back. If I want some airflow, it gets really rainy and starts coming in the ends. I just close these doors down and uh, carabiner them together and stake it in. Pretty easy. All right, so I pretty much got the tarp set up and all my stuff is underneath it. So if it does rain, it'll be good. Um, I'm not gonna set up the the hammock yet uh, until shortly before I go to bed because it rains, I'm gonna end up having to cook under here and stuff. And I don't want my hammock swaying around while I'm trying to cook under here. Um, it's getting pretty close to go home time for everybody. Track is picking up. So I wanna, I'm gonna sneak out and uh, and uh, go explore these two abandoned buildings that are out here. Show you guys a little bit. It's a mess. It's messy and moldy and stuff. The roof's caving in, but we'll go take a look at.
Okay, now that uh, camp is technically set up, and I toured you around the toured you around the house. Sorry, keep the heads on the swivel. I just don't want anybody showing up in here. It's time for a beer and a cigar uh, for this episode, though. Um, let, let me go back. So, um, this this uh, this camping episode was my viewer's choice. Um, you know, like I said earlier, voted on uh, me staying in an abandoned property. It was also supposed to be my uh, August challenge for the Self Camping Alliance. Um, which was to be like Steve Wallace, camp like Steve Wallace, give him a shout out for his million subscribers, supposed to post on his birthday, September 10th. Um, but, uh, Steve posted a video yesterday. Well, it'll be longer than that for you guys when you're posting this video. He, uh... Well, first of all, if you don't know who Steve Wallace is, he's he's kind of the king of uh, laid-back stealth camping. He kind of inspired a lot of people, including myself. Um, I've been watching him for years. I've talked about him on a couple of my videos before. My very first video, I talked about him. Um, if you don't know who he is, I'll have a link in my... In the description of my video, go check out our channel. If you know who I am, you probably already know who he is, most likely. But if you don't, go check him out. Um, he uh, posted a video yesterday that uh, sometime between, sometime overnight on August 20th and 21st, his uh, wife passed away in her sleep. And it's, it's very sad. I couldn't imagine what it would be like. Um, I feel for him. Um, it's terrible. Um, if you can go to his, uh, his, 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 I'll post a link to the video he posted about it and you can comment on it and uh, show your support if you want to. Um, his wife was awesome. We never saw in the videos, but she always supported him. Um, he, he loved her. So I'm dedicating this video to uh, Steve Wallace and Jess, who he called Beautiful Wife. Um, this video is for you guys. And um, This beer is for both of you. It's uh, made by Unibrow Brewing, a Canadian beer company it's called Don. I'm gonna say it wrong. Don de Dieu. Pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but it means gift of God, and that's why I chose this beer for this video because just beautiful wife was Steve's gift from God I wouldn't think he would see it that way so this beer for you guys cheers alright so tonight's cigar it's a fancy double wrap. I don't know who made it. It's it's definitely it's definitely um, a hand roll for sure. It's beautiful. It smells fantastic. But I think it's local. Um, I got this from uh, a physical ATF donor. He's my brother from another mother, Clint Franklin. I'll scroll the names. I can't remember which side it's going to be. Let's scroll the names of the ATF donors on either side, one of these sides here. 
Uh, thank you for everybody that's donated. Thank you, Clint, for the cigar. We'll find out if it's good. I bet you it is. It smells really good. It's huge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's really good. Mm. Very smooth draw. Oh, it was he bought it at uh, a local distillery, sort of local to us, called um, Enjoy Spirits and Distillery. And they actually uh, make all their whiskey and, and all that out in the... Uh, out in the state forest. It's really cool. You have to drive out into the state forest to get to them. But the, the whiskeys and stuff are fantastic there. And that's where he got this cigar. Thank you again. <laughs> You're going to come camping with me one of these days. We just got to figure out a day off. What day we're going to do it. it. Looks like fun, doesn't it? Sitting there sweating to death on the outside of an abandoned building with traffic passing by. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping that nobody's going to show up. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and finish this beer and cigar. And uh, it's dedicated, like I said, dedicated to, dedicated in memory of Jess, beautiful wife, Steve Wallace's wife. And for Steve Wallace, my condolences. Um, I'm going to show you one of my favorite little clips from Steve talking about his wife here. And then, then I'll be back. While this is cooking, I will tell you the spooky story of how I met a beautiful wife. It was at a cemetery, actually. Both of us worked there for the summer. And I did mention this, I think, on a live stream once, but for people who don't know, yeah, we met digging graves. We actually dug a grave together the first day we knew each other. And, uh, and of course, I got fired because uh, I was a little bit of a troublemaker there. And the spooky history of how we met. Joe Homeless. Yeah, seems to be a well-known little spot in the homeless traveling circuit. So, I'm gonna put, let's see. cooking here soon before it gets dark I don't I don't want to turn any lights on or try not to turn too much lights on after dark because I'm right by the road so I'll be back
All right. All right, so it's time to do the cooking portion. For tonight, I've got a, a beer brought with a, uh, a fresh hoagie roll. All the beer brought buns, uh, I can't find them by us for some reason. And of course, some uh, Grey Poupon to put on there. Put on the beer brought. <laughs> and you can't have beer brought without some uh, German potato salad. I'm going to have that too. And I did bring a can opener. All right. Get the stove lit. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the stove. Let's turn that around here. There we go. I might just get down on my knees here and do this. I know I can reach, okay. Get the stove lit. There we go. All right, that beer, beer brought is looking pretty done. Yeah, feels done. There we go. All right, I think that's probably hot enough. Spoon out a little bit of that gray poupon. Onto here. The table's at a little bit of an angle here. Everything's just running down. Oh, my beer brought's falling out. Stay there. All right. Get a bite here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oops. A little hot. Mm, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna finish my dinner here. Sweating. I'm gonna finish my dinner here, and I'll probably uh. Set up my hammock. Because the sun is going down. Might be hard to tell on camera. Camera always sits up late better, but it is going down. And I want to get my hammock set up before it's totally dark and try not to use a lot of light because I'm right by the rub. Mm. All right. I'll be back, guys. All right, so I got the hammock set up. We'll be going to bed pretty soon here. Let up. But, yeah, it's set up. I'm gonna put my gear under there on the tarp later. In case it rains, my backpack is uh, all right here. Cooler and all that. I'll be putting that under there. But, that's pretty much it. I'll be uh, going to bed in a little while. It looks brighter than it actually is. I can almost not see out here. So. Now, uh, see you guys in a little while. Probably when I'm going to bed. Most likely. All right. So. I'm feeling pretty confident. Nobody's come out here. It's dark, so I can turn a little bit of light on. 
it's a little ring light that connects to the phone, clips on the phone, so it's not super, super bright, but it works. Um, there's a Publix across the street and shopping center and stuff, so there's a lot of lights hitting the edges of the woods here, so I'm hoping that that helps uh, camouflage me a little bit. I'm feeling pretty confident, so I'm going to have one more beer <clears throat> before I go to bed. Another cigar. This one's uh, by Unibrow as well, Canadian uh, microbrewery. It's a... Uh, Troy, I'm going to say it wrong, T-R-O-I-S Pistoles. It's a dark Belgian strong ale, something like that. Probably saying it wrong, wrong too. And I'll have a little Cohiba. It's like my little daily smokers. I'll have one of these before I go to bed. So I'm going to sit here and uh, enjoy that, and then uh, I'll see you guys when I go to bed. All right. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it. As soon as I uh, lit my cigar, it started raining. Not real bad, I'm sitting under the tarp now, smoking. Alright, so yeah, it's really coming down now. Put a little bit of thunder and lightning. Still smoking my cigar. I don't know if you can hear me. I'll talk a little louder. I gotta fix that guy line. I think I kicked the. No, it's just a little loose. I'm gonna have to retension it. Not now. Right now the pole mod's holding it, so I'm good. But yeah, it's coming down. I don't think anybody's going to come out here now. Alright, uh, I'll be back in a little while. So the, uh, the rain finally stopped. Just a little bit of drips falling out of the trees here now. Traffic's gone down some. And I'm tired. So uh, I'm going to get some sleep. Um, it's hot and muggy out of here, so I don't know how well I'm going to sleep. But I'm going to try. I'll uh, see you guys in the morning.
No. Good morning, everybody. As you can see, it's still noisy. It's pretty noisy for the rest of the night. I uh, didn't get any more rain, but this car is right over my. But uh, it's around 8 a.m. So I'm going to get up. <sighs> get packed up and uh, call Super Awesome Son or Super Awesome Wife to come pick me up. And uh, get out of here. Gotta get up and get packed up. All right, everyone. I'm packed up. Let's scan around here so you can see behind me. Left everything cleaned up. Oh, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna have to get inside the house here, finish closing this video. <laughs> starting to rain now again but you can see got my trash bag my pack and all that packed up so uh i'll see you inside the house in just a minute and i packed up just in time it's raining now glad i packed what i did or i'd be packing up in the rain All right, everybody, I'm ending this video where I started inside the house here, sort of, on the front porch. Drive, uh, carport, I guess you would call it. Yeah, carport. Uh, waiting for my ride to pick me up. We have a super awesome wife, a super awesome son coming to get me. But uh, I want to thank you all for getting dirty with me on this misadventure. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>